it's me your girl blue some of you guys may know who i am some of you guys may not so anyway hey it's me your girl blue for those of you guys who don't know might as well just say it again and it's been a really hot minute since i last filmed the video so i'm actually pretty nervous about this and if you guys hear like other voices in the background it's because i have my brother in my room and yeah so i please please ignore all the extra sound in the background i'm filming this late at night but people are still up <laughs> this late at night because you know it's lockdown so yeah anyway so today we're back with another journal with me video and for this video i kind of wanted to do a voiceover simply because i kind of wanted you guys to i guess have a voice behind all the videos in my videos i don't really talk or anything like i don't really talk you don't really see my face much i uploaded a video which was kind of like a vlog but i ended up making it private because i just didn't like the way the video came out i thought it was too like jumpy i i didn't like it so i was just like you know what i'm private this it's probably up on my channel again i don't really know if i'm being honest but i didn't really, i didn't really like it eventually i hope to be more comfortable to show my face on here if you follow me on my instagram <laughs> at cloudy blue shameless shameless plug you, know, you probably know how i look like so yeah just kind of put my voice to my face and so yeah so you guys how have you guys been it's been like i said it's been a while and here i am late night journaling because as many of you guys know miss rona decided to come and basically like mess up the first parts of our the first couple of months of 2020 so journaling is literally the only thing that i've been doing to keep me sane because you can't go anywhere everything's closed um and yeah so it's kind of just like messed up i guess everybody's daily life like i know a lot of people aren't graduating well they are graduating but who knows where they have graduation ceremonies and a lot of people are just kind of going through it including myself like i know like more people are having it harder than i am so yeah so this video is kind of like i kind of wanted to make this like i guess you can say i wanted you guys to have like someone to talk to which is probably why i wanted to do a voiceover so that you guys can journal along with me and it's almost as if we're having a conversation with one another so yeah and and also i did not write a script so i'm literally watching this and recording myself as i go along because it's all about spontaneous spontaneous i don't know how to pronounce that word but it's all about being spontaneous on this channel it's all about trying new things so yeah so for this let me talk about this spread a little bit let me talk let me talk about this spread so i'm doing a little i don't really know what this spread is but i guess it's me talking about me coming back to youtube and how i'm really nervous and how i legit don't really know what i want to do with my channel i stopped filming videos honestly because i felt very drained creatively for videos i didn't know what to do like i'm not really like i get really nervous like youtube isn't really my thing so but it's something that i do really want to get into because i did have a lot of fun filming videos but since but i kind of stopped because like i legit i didn't know what else to film and so a lot of people for some reason were asking me to film diys on my i asked like i did a poll and people wanted me to do diys but your girl doesn't do diys so i kind of just want to get back into the swing of things and just do what i like to do which is journal spreads and that was kind of like the previous purpose of my channel and so that's probably what we're gonna just start off with right now and then we're gonna see where this goes i don't really i'm not gonna make you guys any promises and say oh i'm gonna be officially back because i'm really nervous <laughs> i'm shy i don't really like talking like in front of a camera or anything which is why i don't really like showing my face so this is kind of like my small transition into coming back into my youtube channel so i hope you guys are here along for the ride and i hope you guys enjoy this so yeah so this spread is basically like me talking about going back into youtube and just like filming filming this and seeing and being very very nervous and i kind of wanted to also make this like seven themed because i i recorded here's the thing i recorded like halfway through of me doing my seven birthday spread but i decided not to post it because i don't know i just didn't like the angle i felt like i was rushed i didn't really know what i was doing and um so i just decided to stop filming halfway through and just like just do my spread off camera and it's actually pretty late it's already may and i never got around to posting his his spread 
so which is why we're gonna do like a little sehun mini spread i guess like a little sehun themed spread and the, and the journal that i'm using is actually an a6 a lot of people have been asking me if it's from luca lab no my journal is not from luca lab this was actually if i'm not mistaken it's from aliexpress yeah it's from aliexpress the refills though um they're not from aliexpress they're a bit bigger than an a6 it's like weird because i bought these at a stationery store and they're a bit like they're a bit wider than your regular a6 that you can get like off of aliexpress so it's kind of annoying that i can't get regular a6 inserts from aliexpress because my inserts that i already use aren't exactly a6 and so of course i bought these thinking that i was gonna go back to the stationery store like a couple weeks later or a month later and so i was okay with it until then like miss rona of course happened and so i haven't been able to go back though but as of today like certain stores are open but of course i'm gonna stay home for a little bit longer you know just that safety precaution like so stay safe you guys if you don't if you guys don't have to go out then don't go out so yeah also like a life update i have what else have i been doing i haven't really been doing much you guys like i was doing online school and i ended up finishing that up pretty early because it was like a shorter class period like it was a shorter week class what are they called flex classes i don't really know the proper t proper terminology but i ended up finishing up my classes a bit more earlier than usual so the semester was over a bit earlier for me and yeah and i have no idea when i'm gonna register for classes because my school is not on it it's not on it when it's with its schedules and whatnot so i've literally been at home just baking and journaling and getting into and i've been watching like a lot of youtubers like one of my favorite youtubers right now is like mikan mandarin mandarin and she's um she's this swedish based youtuber who lives in japan from tokyo and like that girl is so funny like i love her so much i love watching her videos whenever i eat i watch her because i just find her so funny like her humor and her sarcasm kind of reminds me of myself and like i always say that if, if i were to go to japan or if, I, or if i lived in tokyo i would go visit her or i would want to meet her because i just find her so funny cat Karas is also one of my favorite youtubers at the moment i watch her all the time her vlogs i love her aesthetic she has kind of like this witchy aesthetic she's um she also really likes nct she used to be um she used to do on um, booktube but she recently just transitioned mostly to vlogs so i really like that i love her who else have i been watching i think that's it like i haven't been into uh, key keynote key keynotes keynotes i love watching her journal videos i whenever i journal i tend to watch her and i think that's basically oh and jim reno oh my god jim reno <gasps> that girl is what i aspire to be like i wish i was her li literally and figuratively like she's so pretty she's from spain but she lives in la and she's a painter and she does and she does like these awesome makeup videos like like um they're and she does a lot of painting also so i like i just one of the main reasons why i ended up buying paint is because of her i was like you know what i want to be like jim reno and i want to get back into painting but i am nowhere as good as her like her videos are just awesome she does like a lot of like cosplay-ish makeup videos i think i already said that i'm not sure but her and they're just so awesome and also um i love hearing her talk in spanish because she's from spain and her accent is like so cute and i love hearing it oh my god and also speaking of spain one show that i watched like that i binge watched in a day was the third season of elite and oh my god y'all if you guys haven't seen it you are missing out because that show is my everything i'm not gonna spoil it but it's basically like about mm, basically well it's basically about like a group of kids like rich high school kids and basically a murder mystery happens in their high school and they have to figure out who murdered this person but let me tell you guys like this show is i'm not trying to like shit on riverdale but this show is what riverdale wishes it was anyway no hate like no hate like no shade no tea no hate or anything like uh, i watched a couple seasons of riverdale and it's not bad i mean episodes but it's like so good you guys it's like so raunchy and like so scandalous and i just live for it like they basically like high school like what i'm kind of just like if high school was like that back when i was in high school then oof like just imagine 
it's basically like the rated r version of a high school musical and i live for it and i love it and Ander, he's my love he's my everything and so yeah you guys and so i like how i think of what to say and then it kind of just leaves my mind because i feel like my thoughts my mouth doesn't catch up to my thoughts that much so i remember like i kind of had an idea as to what i wanted to say but now that i'm actually recording myself it all went out the window and so oh and also i've been watching like a lot of studio ghibli film ghibli is it ghibli or ghibli 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 anyway i've been watching a lot of those films i recently watched um uh what's it called um earth and sea tales of earth and sea is it that one and it was all right i liked it it's not my favorite i feel like it's not the best ghibli film but i feel like it's also pretty underrated because not a lot of people talk about it i saw that and princess that one and i know that one's like a classic that one's like really popular but i only saw half of it because i was watching it on facebook in spanish because people upload them on spanish i'm in this studio ghibli um group on facebook so i get to watch the films on there and i really liked it i also um re-watched it's not studio ghibli but i also re-watched um um wolf children with my mom and she cried she was crying and that film it it's so good you guys i think it's like my favorite animated film like that's not studio ghibli or that's not disney because dang like that film i bought the manga back like a con- at a convention like two summers ago i think back like in 2018 i bought it and it was so 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 good i loved it like the art style and everything and so i was really happy like that that i was able to watch the movie again because i hadn't really because i had only seen clips clips of it on youtube so i had never really seen the whole thing so and so um i was happy that i got to rewatch it again with my mom so yeah also anime has been taking over my life y'all like anime i i want his thing i i always watch animes but i never finish them like i'm horrible at start like i'm great at starting animes but then i get bored easily so i stop re-watching so like i stop watching them or like a lot of the anime that i watch it's are shows that i've already seen like multiple times because here's the thing i'm i like to do other things while i watch anime and i try to watch anime like in ja- like so sometimes when i watch anime i like just have it playing in the background and it's already anime that i've seen so whenever i try to watch a new anime like i have to read the subtitles and i have to um and i have to like pause and read them and but at the same time i'm trying to do other things because my mind is like always in different places so i like to like multitask as i watch it and i know you can watch it in english but i'm trying my hardest to watch anime in japanese but yeah sometimes you just gotta watch it in english so the anime that i've been watching now that we're on that topic i recently started i i am i re i started re-watching bleach because i had never seen like the first four seasons of bleach um i re i started watching it like midway like probably if you watch bleach then you probably know what i'm talking about i started watching it during the aronkar arc arc and so I never really watched like the four seasons. And so now that I heard that the season, is, like it's like the anime is coming back, I decided to like you know what we're gonna watch it from the very beginning to the last episode. And so that's what we're basically doing. And I haven't even finished the whole anime. Like in like I'm probably like I left off like in season twenty something, and I haven't finished watching it. But so I'm just like you know what, let's just rewatch it from the very beginning. And so far I really like. I'm currently on the bounce arc and i don't like it it's kind of boring i'm kind of tired of this season but i'm almost finished with it so i'm just trying to power through but and but bleach is like one of my favorite animes and i love it so i'm so glad that it's like being brought back and like it's getting a new season so i'm pumped i also started like i finished season three of tokyo tokyo goal and i risk and i recently started and i recently finished um the other season of attack on titan which is really good also and i really loved it i'm watching naruto but that's not really going that well if i'm being honest with you like i watch it like a couple minutes and i get bored and i just stop i i started re-watching code geass that's also one of my favorite animes (laughs) i'm like on episode like before 
like two episodes before the first se- season is over and it takes a lot of it takes like a lot for me to finish the first season when once it gets to like two episodes before the season is over because it gets really sad and like something really sad happens and i cry so but i have to finish watching it okay for new animes actually one anime that i recently finished i mean recently started and i'm almost done with it is um vampire night and if you like if you know then you know like vampire night was like the very first manga that i read so i never and i never watched the anime i never got around to watching it i had only ever seen like five episodes of the first season but i saw that it was on hulu and i was like you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna power through it and i watched the whole thing and now i'm like a couple of episodes away from finishing it and let me tell you i'm watching it in english dub and i kind of regret it because (sighs) the way they pronounce the names it's just horrible and i don't really like the voices like the voices that they chose for yuki and zero and and konami i just don't like the voice actors like like i don't like i i just feel like they don't reflect their personalities that well and it's annoying and i hate it so if i if i if they could redo this anime with keep all the other voice actors but just change those three voice actors then i would like be happy because i genuinely don't like them and so yeah so what am i doing here okay so this part's actually funny because i i was cutting out this heart like i cut out two of those sehun hearts and i actually ended up for i i ended up misplacing it like one of the hearts and i couldn't find it but it turns out that it was actually under my box of washi tape so i didn't even get around to using it so that's fun yeah see what i mean you guys that i really do doze off and like just talk about a multitude of different things at once anyway so what else is new oh k-pop 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 if i'm being honest i haven't been really listening to k-pop and i haven't bought any albums i really wanted to get nct's new album but i have yet to listen to their album their new one if i'm being honest i don't even know what it's called and i didn't get sehun i mean sehun suho's album and i really wanted to but i haven't been able to so maybe like once lockdown is over and i get to go to the and i get to go to the k-pop album store I'll probably get it but who knows i kind of like i have other priorities at the moment i haven't really been listening to like like i said i haven't been listening to k-pop i did get into fakey again like fake oh my god fakey if for, like, for you guys who don't know who fakey is they're a japanese girl group and their music is they're like it's bomb like their music are is so great their new singles like the new songs that they just released with like the new two members that they added um antidote and half moon and girls gotta live like oh my god those songs are all bops and i listen to antidote at least like three times a day it's like on my playlist every single day i listen to it and i love it i had listened to them like a couple of years like a couple years ago before some of the members left i don't really know who the members are because i don't really get i haven't i'm still slowly but surely getting into them i'm still kind of memorizing their names but like some of the girls left and so they ended up getting two members and i think like the last album like the last song that i heard from being honest i can't remember was probably like candy is it candy so i haven't like so i kind of stopped and that's when i heard that like some of the members had left i think one or two left i don't really remember and they added new members and i love them and also like one thing that i like about them is that they also have like Spanish, like spanish i mean english speaking members and i think one of the girls is also like have spanish or like she's spanish or something or she's Brazilian. i don't know if she is but she's like spanish japanese brazilian i don't know i have to look into it and so i thought that was really cool i was like oh my god i represent and so yeah so if you haven't listened to fakie you gotta do it like you just have to like pause this video go listen to antidote by fakey and then come back and like let me know if you listen to it if you listen to it then then give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you did go and listen to the the song so like pause this video go listen to antidote by fakey and then come back and let me know what you think about it because it is awesome it is great and so also oh another like sad update is like of course with the whole miss rona thing going on like the bts tour got pulled back i mean pushed back and i'm really sad because it was bound to happen i already knew like i was like oh it's gonna happen but i was hoping it wouldn't (laughs) like i was hoping that things would be back to normal and because the concert would have been like today's may 3 may 3 what the heck may 3rd by the time i'm filming this video it's may 3rd right now and the concert was supposed to be next weekend on this on the 9th and i was so pumped like i was excited i had my outfit i had everything 
yeah. except for my light stick I, would, I was like I'll just pur- purchase the light stick at the venue yeah. and I was excited and like I and then like a month or two ago that email came in saying that you know what you guys we're sorry but it's gonna be postponed dun, dun, dun. oh well but it was, it was gonna happen I just really I really just didn't think it was gonna get as bad as it did but oh well like, hey, at least I'm going to see them. So if you're going to see them, let me know, guys. Let me know. If you're going to, like, the Dallas show on Saturday, then please let me know so that we can meet up or something. Or, like, let me know in the comments if you're going to go in general. So, yeah. So what else is going on? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you go, like, what was I going to say? See you guys what I mean? I have no idea. Also, the BTS is out. new album is really freaking good. Oh, yeah. And actually, like, actually, um... I also am getting questions as to what's better, like an A5 or an A6. And personally, I use both, but I'm reach, I'm like reaching into my A6 more because I feel like it's easier to use in terms of size. I feel like I don't really have to think about it, like have to think about spreads because for a while in my A5, I love the ring. I love the style of the six ring binder. I love like the freedom that it gives me, like being able to take out pages if I mess up. I can take it out. I can put it, I can put a different page in. Like I could buy all these cute inserts and whatnot. But I for but like with the A5, I felt like sometimes it was too big, and I felt like I was like, oh my god, I have to fill every inch of the paper. And so with the A6, I just kind of like the size. At first, I thought it was way too small, and I was like, nope, this isn't gonna work. But I really like it. Like it's cute. It's like easier to use. Like the spreads just come to kind of come together a bit more easier. Um, I know there's like the in between size from Luca Lab, which is called the archive size, which is like a mixture between an A6 and an A5. It's like a lot. It's like a bit smaller than the A5, but a bit bigger than the A6. And I was gonna buy one, but y'all, the shipping is crazy. And I was like, no, thank you. Like, I was in, I had like a bunch, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy my journal and I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I had like, and I think it's like $50, I don't know what it is. And I had like $50 worth of like things in there. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And like, once I got to the shipping part, it said $65 or like $45 of shipping. And I was kind of like, excuse me, like, okay? You know, like my jaw just dropped. And I was like, eh, eh. But it's pretty popular, like, or, um, Luca Lab, like, the brand is pretty popular, but I just think it's too expensive, but if you want to do it, do it. That's just my opinion, but also, I get why it's expensive, because of EMS and shipping to the States and whatnot, but uh, I was kind of, like, iffy about it. Maybe one day, I'll just be, like, F it, let's do it, but right now, I'm kind of, like, no, let's not do it. So, yeah, you guys, now, um, also, I, I'm not really sure if I'm, like, a big fan of this angle, because I've I was thinking of putting my camera on the other side but since but since like the uh, if I were to put it on the opposite side um it like the lighting like the lighting would be like too shadowed so I ended up basically like propping up my books like two books on and like putting my tripod on top of those books so I can get like a like a higher angle I wish I could have zoomed in on this but also since I'm left-handed I feel like you guys can never see what I'm writing so if you guys like this angle please let me know I used to film my videos like overhead like I used to have my iPad over my desk and you could see like the whole spread but I don't have access to my iPad at the moment so I kind of just had to wing it maybe next time I'll just zoom in a bit more but I kind of like this angle let me know you guys if you guys like this angle and also I apologize you can probably hear my brother right now so yeah you know what we're just gonna stop here and i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the video um i hope you guys are having a good time a good day like let's get through this through let's get through these dark times these tough times together if you guys ever need a friend i'm um, just a comment away if you guys ever want to talk to me on my instagram i'm just a dm away at cloudy blue on instagram so yeah you guys i hope wherever you guys are stay safe stay positive and let's and let's just hang in there so yeah thank you guys for watching this video give it a like give it a thumbs up do whatever leave a comment say what's up and i hope to guys i hope to see you guys very 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 soon so bye good night y'all
Thank you.